Hey everybody, today I want to talk about the root cause of why so many people struggle to stick to a meal plan. They struggle to lose weight or they're yo-yo. They lose weight and they gain it back and they have binge eating or sugar addiction or any kind of uh, huge caloric intake in a short period of time that upends weeks or even months worth of work. Why is this so common? Also, what I'm going to be talking about is also the root cause of not just an inability to lose weight and maintain it, but it's also the root cause of ADHD. It's a root cause of addictions. It's a root cause of depression, anxiety. All of those things share one similar driving force or factor, and that is a low dopamine activity. That low dopamine activity is termed reward deficiency syndrome. Reward deficiency syndrome is actually simply a state of not having a lot of dopamine, whether you're genetically born with it or there are certain things that occur in your lifestyle and in your environment that drop your dopamine levels. It affects over a third of the US population. So it really is the norm. So this dopamine deficiency disorder or this reward deficiency syndrome has a genetic factor. And what it refers to it refers to a dopamine receptor gene so the dopamine d2 receptor gene that makes the d2 receptors when you have this condition it codes for 30 to 40 percent fewer receptors at birth you're literally born with around half of the amount of dopamine receptors that other people have and so that sets you up for addictions more easily sets you up for distractions more easily depression negative mood states all of the all those things and the term reward deficiency disorder was coined by dr kenneth bloom who uh, up until 1995 was a professor of pharmacology at a university in, at a university in texas and he even spent the rest of his post-retirement career researching RDS or reward deficiency syndrome. And um, he even started a journal, a scientific journal that only publishes papers that relate to the reward deficiency syndrome. It's called the reward deficiency syndrome journal. <laughs> and then he also created a genetic test called the GARS test, genetic addiction risk score. And so it looks at your genes to see if you carry the genes that have been associated. There are 11 genes, or 11 variations of genes that have been associated with having this um, RDS. And I'm gonna show you on the screen right now those 11 variations of the genes, so you can take a quick look on that. I'll also post the links to the articles, the papers, where all of this data has been published. A lot of these papers have Dr. Kenneth Bloom as uh, a main author on them. And it is important to note that reward deficiency syndrome is not just about having not enough dopamine. It, it actually affects all of the different neurotransmitters and neuromodulators in your brain. So it affects serotonin, GABA, endorphins, cannabinoids, glutamine, cho choline, acetylcholine receptors, um, and the dopamine receptors. So it affects all of these neurochemical pathways. I'm going to show you also a picture here so you can see the cascade. The thing with addiction and the thing with reward deficiency syndrome or this low dopamine state is that all roads lead to dopamine and so you got to have optimal levels of all of these neuromodulators and neurotransmitters because each one kickstarts the release of another in a cascade pathway that ends in dopamine being released and you feeling great and so at any point during that cascade, if you have a problem there, either a genetic predisposition or you've destroyed some of the receptors due to addiction, then you are going to eventually lead to a lower dopamine release in the end. And you're going to feel depressed, cravings, temptations, distractions, etc. All right, so I hope this helped you understand a little bit what reward deficiency syndrome is. I don't look at it as a diseased state. I think it's found in 30 to 40 percent of us, and it, in certain populations, it's even found at higher rates. So I think this is the norm. It's just that we are bombarded with highly addictive stimuli that we're just not used to evolutionarily speaking and so we just need to learn how to cope with those new stimuli and if you want to learn how to 
reverse this dopamine deficit state make sure you check out my group coaching we are meeting every sunday at 9 a.m eastern and also every thursday at 2 p.m eastern it's 49 dollars for one weekly support session it's support slash coaching because we're supporting one another but i'm also answering your questions and coaching you and it's almost per it's almost like it's personalized advice so it's either 49 dollars for one weekly session or $99 for two weekly sessions a month. So you end up getting either four to five sessions per month, depending on the month, or eight to 10 sessions per month. So if you are interested, shoot me an email at drsarahzaldivargmail.com and we'll take it from there. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.